what's going on? This is Jay from Sony Alpha Lab, and in this review, I'm going to go over the Gorilla Pod from Joby. It's a really cool tripod solution, and it just so happens it works terrific for the next style camera. This, thing, this thing's rated for 6.6 .6 pounds, and the next cameras don't even weigh near that much. Uh, believe it or not, I actually had my Canon, I'll show you a picture, I had my 5D Mark II with a, a full frame lens on there, and this thing supported it no problem. So you can use it for big stuff if you want. But of course, you know, there is a little bit of shake going on and you have to use the self timer and things like that if you're gonna wanna use an SLR on this. But it will work. You can use an SLR on this. There's no doubt about it. This, these flexible joints are very stiff. And when you combine like four or five of them together, it has amazing power. And these things are all rubber. So it just sticks. Like with one of these legs, I was able to support the whole unit just with around one metal, around one post, I was able to just use one leg. So if you use all three, you can imagine, you know, it's, it's very strong. Also, what I wanted to show you, this particular model comes with a ball head, and it goes for about $55 or so. And this ball head's really cool because it's adjustable. You can get your camera completely sideways like this, or you can aim it downward like this. So you can do both. And in addition to that, you, could, you lock it just a little bit, it holds the camera, and then you can turn it like so. And if you tighten it more, it locks it down completely. So that works pretty good. Also, if you notice on the bottom here, there's a little push button. And if you hit that, you just press it, and then this slides right out. And you have a little screw on the bottom here, a flathead. Use a little quarter, a quarter or something in there to tighten it up. And there's also a nice little ball level on here, which is convenient. And it aims right to, towards the back, which is also nice. And it, it only weighs about a pound, 1.2 pounds, 1.12 pounds or something and it works on pretty much anything and, and most of the time I'm shooting low I like to use this thing you know I use I like to use my tripod low to the ground and this thing's really easy to use you just basically bend it how you want it and then you could curve it put the little feet down like this see that and you can get this really close to the ground pretty much almost on the ground like that and get really nice low angles so like I said, it's very versatile, and these rubber things allow you to grip on almost anything. So the maximum height is 11.7 inches, and the minimum height is 4.7 inches. So that's your range, pretty much, up and down. Hi, Daddy. Hi Layla. Dad. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. <laughs> Hello. This is a quick release. This is called a quick release, which is a very nice feature. Quick release means you can basically just hit a button and take it off. Non-quick release, it doesn't come off, so you have to unscrew the camera every time or unscrew the little thing every time. Not as convenient as quick release. Quick release, uh, the, the bracket stays with the camera. So any anytime you see quick release, that's what you're going to get. I'm going to show you some pictures of this uh, gorilla pod uh, in random scenarios, like just grabbing onto things and stuff. And I think you'll be pretty impressed with how strong it is. I, I really didn't expect it to be as strong as it was. I went and uh, hooked this up on the fence and got a pretty cool picture with the fisheye lens. And, um, you know, I really wouldn't have been able to do it without something like this because the tripod doesn't go high enough. You can't get it as close to the fence, things like that. So you can imagine, you know, I could hook this thing on anything. The light, I mean, the door handle. Um, getting a tripod close to the railing is always a pain, too, because, it, you know, it's at a triangle. So you always have to get one leg, you know, push one leg over to get the tripod close to the railing. Um, if you'll, you know what I mean if you use a tripod. So one thing I would recommend um, is not putting this in the water, especially in the winter, though because there is just, you know, it's just basically like a ball and socket here. And if water or sand or dirt gets in there, you know, it's gonna like cr okay. probably crunch. Hello, hi sweetheart. So, and in the winter time especially, you don't want it to get in there and freeze because it'll probably crack something. So I wouldn't recommend like submerging this thing, but if you do, um, just make sure you dry it thoroughly, you know, if it, especially if you're gonna go out in the cold, that's all. So. That's pretty much it, and uh, I'll catch up with you guys on Sony Alpha Lab. Take care. Bye.